what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city 4 here bring us more black ops 3 multiplayer today we'll be doing a best class setup for the hvk 30. now this assault rifle is the third one to unlock so you might want to be like level 10 or so in order for you to unlock this weapon i'm pretty sure it is level 10 if it's not you guys can correct me but it is the third assault rifle to unlock but anyways uh one thing that you need to know about this assault rifle it does have the highest rapid fire of all the assault rifles and um, this weapon can kind of be treated like an, an SMG, which is something that the yeah. other sword rifles cannot do or barely do. So uh, the HVK-30, the way I have it set up is um, so it can be like balanced. It can be an all around weapon, short range, medium range and long range. The HVK-30, I suggest to be like very cautious in using it because it is a it is a great weapon only if you use it the right way. So oh, wow. the right ways you can use it is by um, you know having all these attachments that I got right here. So let's go one by one, and uh, let me explain to you guys why you need some certain attachments. The first one that I have here is the optic, which is the uh, reflex side. The reason why I have the reflex side is because I have trouble seeing with the iron side. I really cannot see down the field, so I ended up putting the reflex side, and I feel like I'm shooting a lot more better like this. So, um, in my opinion, you guys can have whatever you want, but in my opinion, I, I suggest to have the reflex. To me, it's better. You don't have to zoom in at all. It gives you more of a clear shot down the field. So uh, you can use whatever side you want, the Varex, the Recon, the, the BOA-3, and the Thermal, the ELO. But I'm currently using the Reflex, and I feel like more comfortable using the Reflex. And yes, I already used it with the ELO and my other account, Mr. Joking John 84 It's just that I wasn't comfortable with it. So I feel, I feel more comfortable with the Reflex. So uh, trust me, I think you will be doing better with the Reflex side. Moving on to the next attachment, which will be Quick Draw. Without this attachment, you will not be able to take out people from head to head and also short combat situations so without the quick draw you're pretty much just going to be stuck from range you're going to be able to uh you're only going to be able to take out people from uh, long range to medium range short range you gotta be very very cautious without this attachment because you're not going to be able to aim as quick as possible and the enemy is going to take you down before you even get a chance to aim so that's how bad this weapon is when it comes down to aiming so i suggest to add the quick draw along now this was a combo along with the fast hands without these two this weapon is just might as well just be at a long range weapon not even a quick quick draw at all and um you know but it, but it's wasted potential though because it does have the highest rapid fire it does have a good amount of damage so with uh, i suggest to put these two and i uh, usually to treat this weapon like an all-around weapon you don't have to worry about keeping your distance most of the time and this will allow you to actually get go make you go out there and take down people from close range Moving on to the next attachment, which will be the grip. The grip attachment will allow you to shoot from medium range to long range. Uh, and also keeps it more controlled when it comes down to medium range. Without it, it's going to go all over the goddamn place how it is right now for long range, even with the grip attachment. Because right now, it does have a lot of recoil from long range. But um, it gives you a little bit more control compared without the grip attachment. So, I uh, already tested it out without the grip, you know, pretty much uh, when I didn't have the attachment. And I'm telling you, it is not a great uh, great way to use this weapon. So have the grip, have the quick draw, have the reflex, and you should be doing just fine with the HVK-30. Just like I did with my 105 kill gameplay. And also where I went 51 and 10 with the HVK. So, uh, yeah, those, that's that way you can, uh, that's, this is the way you're going to be able to set up the HVK-30. All the other things like the secondary, the lethal, tactical, perk 1, perk 3 are the only ones that where you can just change it to whatever you want but i'm currently using the mr6 as a backup pistol just in case and also i don't have scavenger so that's why i have the mr6 right there um also i have the semtex concussion and pretty much a, a great combo because the semtex goes off a little bit more faster than the grenade so that's why i have the semtex the afterburner allows me to like uh recharge pretty much faster on the um when it comes down to like boosting and stuff and jumping up in the air so that's gonna allow me to move a lot faster and keep on my pace on the battlefield uh the next one the perk number three the blast suppressor it allows me to actually move around without being worried about uh you know getting caught most of the time because you guys know um every time you jump you create a ring around you and that pretty much gives away your position so that's why i have the blast suppressor on all my best class titles because i don't want to get caught on such a simple move 
So that is it, guys. That is the best class setup for the HBK30. If you guys like it, if you guys don't, let me know in the comment section. If you guys are using this weapon right now, how I, how I currently have it, you know, let me know in the comment section. If you guys want to know some more tweaks about it, you know, you guys can ask me questions whenever you want. So that is it. Here's the best class setup. Uh, subscribe for more. If you guys want to see more Black Ops 3 best class setups and also more.